Escalating Cash Flow from Las Vegas Investment Real Estate A big difference between Las Vegas investment real estate and securities is escalating cash flow. When you buy a government bond or deposit your money in a savings account, the interest on the money is very low and fixed. Your money only increases by the fixed interest rate. In this video, we will show you how increasing rents in the past few years are affecting cash flow and by how much using two real-life examples. The median rent for all rental properties is about $1,300, so we will show one example for a large home that rented for $2,500 and the other a condo that rented for $1,400. While Las Vegas investment real estate has appreciated greatly in the past few years, so has the cash flow over the years. This is due to increasing rental rates, which have been going up in the past few years, resulting in increased cash flow. On this page, we are only discussing residential real estate, including homes, condos, and townhomes. There are two kinds of statistics about rental rate increases. One covers all residential real estate, which is far lower than those in lower price ranges percentage-wise. Rental rate gains for all Las Vegas investment real estate. This table shows rental rate price gains for all of the Las Vegas homes, condos, and townhomes and its effect on the cash flow. In 2017, we witnessed a 3.6% rent appreciation. The same for 2018 was 7.25% and 4.8% for 2019. Just like home and condo sales price gains, the percentage of rental rate increases for lower priced homes and condos is far higher than those in higher price ranges. However, even these lower rent appreciations have a significant effect on the cash flow. For example, 5571 Kildare Court is a 5,089 square foot, four bedroom, three bath house located in southwest Las Vegas. It had already been rented for $2,500 in May 2016 when it sold for $420,000 in July 2016 to an investor. The seller contribution was $7,000, so the net sales price was $413,000. But how much was the cash flow when this home was sold? This home doesn't have a homeowners association, so the HOA fee is zero. Property tax is $3,158 per year or $263 per month. Landlord insurance for a house this big is about $1,500 per year or $200 per month. We are going to allocate $1,000 per year for repairs and one month of vacancy for a house this large. We shall deduct the following expenses from the monthly rent. In calculating rental income for Las Vegas investment properties, we gave a detailed explanation of our formula and showed by a real life example of how it works, but we will repeat that here. Estimated net rental income equals monthly rent, minus HOA fee plus property tax plus SID lives if applicable plus landlord insurance, minus repairs plus vacancy plus 8% property management fee. Using this formula, this unit provided for an estimated 4.8% cash flow in 2016. Add 3.6% to the rent in 2017 and rent is increased to $2,560 per month, which raises the cash flow to 5%. Add another 7.25% to $2,560, and it becomes $2,745, raising cash flow to 5.5%. And lastly, another 4.8% rate gain in 2019 would raise the cash flow to 5.9% after only three years. This is what we call escalating cash flow from Las Vegas Investment Real Estate. We need to note a couple of points here. One, landlords usually don't raise the rent for existing renters as much as the above rates, especially good renters in large houses. However, the vacancy is eliminated for every year the renters stay in the house, which more than makes up for rent appreciations. The highest rent increase was 7.25% in 2018, which would add $185 per month to the rent. That would increase the rental income by $2,220 per year. If the landlord didn't raise the rent at all, he would lose on $2,220, 
but no vacancy would save $2,500, resulting in higher cash flow. But that doesn't mean that landlords don't raise rents at all. They raise it at lower rates, like half of the above amounts. Two, cheaper units rental rate escalation by percentage is far higher than all homes and condos in all price ranges, while the vacancy for these is much shorter than the huge house in our example. The significantly higher percentage of rental income for Las Vegas investment real estate in lower price ranges in percentage. The rate increase for 2017 was 5.2%, .2 for 2018 it was 7.1%, and for 2019, it reached 7.5%. Our example condo, 4720 Apulia Drive, Unit 201, which is a 1,454 square foot, three bedroom condo, which we discussed in calculating rental income for Las Vegas investment properties, was purchased for $204,000. It rented for $1,400 and provided for a 4.9% cash flow, which is similar to our big home. If this unit was purchased in 2016, given the above rental rate increases, the effect on the cash flow is more pronounced. As you can see, the percentage of cash flow gains are much higher for lower priced units than higher priced homes and condos. These findings are backed by MLS data. Here are some real life examples of units rented from late 2016 to 2018 and again in 2020. Higher priced homes and condos are where deep discounts are found. So should investors avoid investing in more expensive homes and condos? That depends on whether he or she is looking for a high cash flow or future appreciation. It is very difficult to get deep discounts on lower priced homes and condos. The competition has been too fierce to get a good discount from homes priced less than the FHA loan limit but competition for homes that could be purchased by conventional loans or jumbo loans is far less than those that can be bought with an FHA mortgage. So it is possible to find deeply discounted homes in higher price ranges. $20,000 or higher discounts contribute to future appreciation, which more than covers lower cash flows. Lastly, we did say that rent appreciations greatly lag sales price gains and that we expect rent gains to go on for the next few years. But nothing is ever guaranteed. All we can do is make a highly educated guess. Real estate investors have been getting high single digit or double digit combined cash flow and future appreciation return on their investment for the past few years, which should go on at least for the next couple of years. Please find the link for this post with all embedded data in the description. If you are looking to invest in homes or condos, call us at 702-478-7800. We have been researching this subject for a long time and are ready to make you money. This is Karen Saberzade of Las Vegas Homes, Condos, and Luxury High-Rise Condos, wishing you a great day.